why Pilates for the hip and knee? Pilates develops a lot of strength in the lower extremities. It increases in alignment. You're working on alignment and form. You can also lubricate the hip joint a lot with a lot of the exercises, and we'll talk about which ones those are. You can improve tracking through the hip and knee a lot with Pilates. Again, I'm talking about alignment and positioning. You can isolate muscle movements which allow for rehabilitation. So you can really, you know how it is when you go to single leg footwork on the reformer, all of a sudden you can really focus on where is that knee going, where is the hip, where is the pelvis in relationship to the reformer, where is the foot and ankle. So those are all great ways to help somebody with a hip or a knee issue. Anatomy, you ready? So head of the femur going into the acetabulum, right? Uh, we have our labrum and capsule and everything that we'll show you on top of that in a moment. So back to some more muscles. How many quads do we have? Four. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. Don't read them. Come on. You should have this pictured in your head. Thank you. Okay. So vastus lateralis, vastus intermedius, vastus medialis, and on top? Rectus, rectus femoris. femoris. Right. So what is the action of the quad? Hip flexion, knee flexion, knee, knee, flexion. knee extension, extension is the function oh, yeah. of the it's quad. The right. What is the function of the rectus femoris that is not the function of the rest of the quads? Hip flexion. flexion. And now we're just talking about exercise protocols. What do we do? What are the actual exercises we can do? Um, but I just thought this was really funny. That's what I call a bum knee. Yes, I thought that was really cute. I'm going to start with exercises that are really not Pilates. They're, I would say, pre-Pilates or acute knee pain that we actually use in physical therapy because I think for some people, going straight into the Pilates, it's a bit of a jump. And there's some exercises that could be really helpful that are not hard to teach that could be kind of a pre-Pilates mat work for specifically for a knee. One that we use in physical therapy a lot, we call it a quad set. A quad set is really, what we're trying to do is activate the quad muscle, but in a small muscle sort of way. So kind of like we do with the transverse abdominis in Pilates, it's the same thing for the quad here. The easiest way to teach it is to ask somebody to tighten the um, quad so it's almost like they're pressing down the knee a little bit and you should be able to see that medial quad muscle come on it helps people to sometimes flex the foot and um, sometimes they get more of an activation there and sometimes it's helpful for people to do both together because we call it co-activation sometimes if one isn't firing very well you can get the other one to fire and it kind of encourages the body to fire on the other side as well. For the knee, you're gonna work on the footwork, just, just classic footwork is fine. However, keep in mind the knee to foot relationship. Somebody who has a knee injury, it's gonna be harder for them to go on the balls of the feet because there's more flexion involved in that. So somebody with a restricted motion, I always start them on their heels. And you can use, I'm gonna bring your heels up in parallel to start. So for them, probably hip width apart is your best bet. And maybe putting a little ball between the knees is a good idea because what we're gonna do is activate the medial quad more with a little bit of adduction happening here. So, and we're gonna keep the alignment even better when their hip, you know, when it's all lined up with the hips and the feet as well. The idea here, so standing, the straight arm lat pulls, we use this a lot for unloading the spine, if you remember. Here, what we're trying to do is align, right? So get weight even on both feet and just have them grounded here so they're feeling like they're even and they're weighted. But really what we wanna to get to is that progression to the arabesque and the, so there's the two versions. One is um, starting here. As that bar comes down, I'm lifting. So it's glute work. Max to lift, I'm working glute. Medius for stance, right? So you're watching for hip check and that they're not d dropped. You're watch and the way you can tell, right? See how bent that knee is now. But if I actually stand on my right foot, I'm really high and I have some space for this other leg, right? How do you know what is the best exercise for your client? 